Generative AI has opened new doors for creative teams, helping you explore ideas more quickly and produce more personalized variations than ever before. But when you type a prompt into a tool like Adobe Firefly, what's actually happening behind the scenes? How does a model know what to generate? And why does that matter to your workflow? Understanding these concepts will help you best choose the right AI tool to use in your creative work. Before a generative AI model can produce anything, it has to learn. That learning process is called training, and it's not automatic. It's intentional, structured, and human-led. Training a large model like Firefly requires millions of assets, each one paired with descriptive text and tags. These tags help the model understand the semantics of what's in the image, not just dog, but golden retriever, sitting, outdoors. The more nuanced and accurate the tagging, the better the model becomes at recognizing patterns and generating relevant results. This process helps the model build associations between visual elements and language. Over time, it starts to learn what a dog looks like in all of its variations and how to recreate a concept when prompted. But it's not just about quantity, it's about quality. The more thoughtful and diverse the training data, the more useful and accurate the output. And that's why testing and refinement are built into the process, to ensure the model understands what we're asking it to do. AI only performs well if it's taught with care and responsibility in mind. One common training method is called a diffusion model. Put very simply, training images are turned into what looks like super pixelated noise. The image is gradually diffused until it's unrecognizable. Then, when you enter a prompt, that process runs in reverse. The model builds a new image back from the noise based on what you described, which is why detail is so key to obtaining better generated content. So when you type something like, small dog playfully sitting in a field of grass, the model isn't pulling from a database of existing dog photos. It's generating a new image from noise based on what it's learned from tagged training data. Okay, so now what about mistakes? Even with careful training, AI can still get things wrong. One common issue is overfitting, which is when a model learns patterns too rigidly from its training data. For example, if a model is trained on too many images of cats, it might start to associate the concept of pet or animal primarily with cats. And as a result, it could generate images where all animals appear cat-like, even when it's not appropriate. And these errors are reminders. AI doesn't understand the world. It just finds and repeats the patterns it sees and has learned. One of my favorite quotes explains this relationship really well. LLMs don't really understand what they produce. They can't distinguish between fact or fiction. Some output might appear to be believable, but turn out to be a confidently presented untruth. So that's why creative judgment is essential. You craft the prompt and decide what's working and what needs polished. You can decide if you want to take creative inspiration from the hallucinations or ignore them. And more often than not, your final image will benefit from some hands-on refinement and tools like Photoshop. It's also important to know that not every generative AI model is trained the same way. Some scrape training data from everything on the internet, which can raise concerns about copyright, attribution, and commercial safety. Adobe Firefly takes a different approach. Its models are trained on licensed Adobe stock content and public domain imagery where copyright has expired. Your images are never used for training, and Adobe compensates contributors whose work support the model. So this means Firefly generates commercially safe content, ready for business or educational use, all built on a foundation that respects and values creators. Understanding how generative AI is trained helps you use it more diligently. You'll know what to expect, what to watch out for, and when to trust the output, and when to step in and refine it. Now that you know more about AI models, before using your next AI tool, ask yourself, how is this model trained? Is the output something my company or client can safely use? Does it align with the values and requirements that I have as a creator? Because at the end of the day, like any tool, AI is most powerful when it's in the hands of someone who knows how to use it. And that's you. Mm -hmm.